Hi guys, hope you people are fine. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will share you some important questions for SNT TC1 net top questions for interview. These are related to NDT level 1, level 2 and level 3. Those are working as an NDT engineer or NDT inspector and those are want to attend the exam in future. These are the very important and tough questions for interview. So many of them actually i see the watching the video so please subscribe my channel so it can encourage me to upload more videos as same like this way and it this presentation i am making and taking too much uh, time for this one so please for my hard work subscribe my channel to it will encourage to me so let's start so before we prior to start this uh, questions and answer, so we need to know first what is SNTTC 1A. SNTTC 1A for personal qualification and certification for non destructive text testing. That means this SNTTC 1A is a governing body, those are giving the certification entity level 1, level 2, and level 3. So let's start the first question. As regards examination of level 1 and level 2 personal than NDT level 3, so the NDT level 1 and level 2 personal, the examination, the NDT level 3, the question sir, the shall prepare the general question paper. So NDT level 3, pe no, those are NDT level 3, they, uh, they will prepare the general question paper. B is shall conduct the examination, they will conduct the examination for entity level 1 and level 2. C is shall grade the examination, so they will grade the examination and all of the above are correct. What do you think this one? Shall prepare the granal question paper or shall conduct the examination? Let's see all of the above are correct because first is the you need to prepare means level 3 need to prepare the general question paper definitely for entity level 2 people. Definitely there should be examination and definitely that is the grade of the examination. So these three things is very important. So all of the above are correct is the right option. Question number two. Which of the following true statement? A is there are five basic level of qualification. Means in NDT there are five basic level of qualification. In option B there are three basic level of qualifications. Option C is their level can be further subdivided by the employer into additional level when deemed necessary. Option D, A and C is correct. Option E, B and C are correct. Definitely, A, there are five basic level we know very well. The three level is there in level 1, level 2, level 3. So, option A definitely will not be there. In that case, option D also will not be the correct one. You see option D and option A to omit. Now option B and C. So you see here there are three basic level of qualification. So this one is the correct. Also their level can be further subdivided by the employer into additional level. So it's the employer if depends it depends on the employer how the level are subdivided by another level. So option is E is the correct one. B and C are correct. So option E is the correct answer. Question number three. An individual was certified level two by employer A. This individual left A. Means one person certified level two by an employer A. Employer A certified kiya tha level two ko. This individual left A means the person who has a left career, a company short there and join employer B, another company joined here, join Kanye Ka time, Oska gap ho gaya after the gap of nine months. Nine months ka gap made another employer joined here B. As per SNT TC1, this individual can certify to level two by the employer B because he already certified in employer A, but after a nine gap. 9 month gap, they joined another company joined employer B. So that level 2 is valid or not? 
ऑप्शन आफ्टर कंडक्टिंग एंड एग्जामिनेशन ओनली डायरेक्टली ऑप्शन बी आफ्टर रिसीविंग फुल ट्रेनिंग फॉलोड बाय एग्जामिनेशन ऑप्शन सी आफ्टर रिसीविंग ट्रेनिंग एज डीम नेसेसरी बाय एम्प्लॉयर बी कैन बी सर्टिफाइड टू लेवल टू आफ्टर एन एग्जामिनेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी नान ऑफ द एब आर करेक्ट मीन्स फर्स्ट इज टेलिंग आफ्टर कंडक्टिंग एग्जामिनेशन ओनली डायरेक्टली सो यू कैन डायरेक्ट मैं एग्जामिनेशन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सेकेंड ऑप्शन आफ्टर रिसीविंग फुल ट्रेनिंग द कंपनी विल गिव द फुल ट्रेनिंग टू हिम विथ एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड सी इज आफ्टर रिसीविंग ट्रेनिंग एज डीम नेसरी बाई एम्प्लॉयर बी कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड टू लेवल टू आफ्टर एन एग्जामिनेशन एंड लास्ट वन इज द नान ऑफ द एब आर करेक्ट सो विच वन इज द करेक्ट नान ऑफ द एब इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ ए पर्सन टू बी सर्टिफाइड टू एन डी टू लेवल थ्री कैन बी रिड्यूस बाय एन एम्प्लॉयर सो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ ए पर्सन टू बी सर्टिफाइड एन डी टू लेवल थ्री कैन बी रिड्यूस बाय एन एम्प्लॉयर इफ द कैंडिडेट इज ए पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट द कैंडिडेट हेड हैज वर्क ए सर्टिफाइड लेवल इन द सेम मेथड द कैंडिडेट हैज वर्क ए सर्टिफाइड लेवल वन इन एनी एन डी टी मेथड इन गिवेन इन एस एन टी टी सी वन ए एंड डी इज नान ऑफ द एब आर करेक्ट so which one is the correct one the none of the above is correct so the requirement of a person to be certified to ndt level 3 can be reduced by an employer if the candidate is post graduate if the candidate is post graduate if the candidate work as a certified level 1 in the same method same method mein certified level 1 kiya hai the candidate has work as a certified level 1 in the ndt method given an sntc one so option d is the correct one Question number five: A qualified representative of an of the employer can conduct and grade the examination for level one, level two, option three, level option C, level three, and D all of the above. Means a qualified representative means a qualified representative of the employer. There are person some qualified in the employer. Uh, in the employer can conduct and grade the examination for level definitely it should be level 3 a qualified representative of the employer can conduct level 3 question number 6 the three examination required for certifying a person to ndt level 2 are basic specific practical b is general specific practical c is method basic specific and d is none of the above so method basic and specific the three certifying three examination required for certifying a person to entity level 2 that is method basic and specific question number 7 as per sntc 1 a, a person shall be certified to appropriate entity level if he is to perform entity evaluate entity witness entity or any one of the above required certification means as per sntc 1a a person shall be certified to appropriate entity level so sntc 1 a ka hi sabse ek person certified hota hai appropriate entity level jab wo perform ndt perform kar sakta hai ndt evaluate kar sakta hai witness kar sakta hai or any of the above required certification so the correct one is the any one of the above required certific certification in the certification any one of the above is required question number 8 an entity level 1 should carry out inspect inspection as per so there are in site you see there is some people are there entity level 1 so they are carry out inspection so what you have to do what are the document needs a code b is stm standard c is written instruction d is any of the above so which one is the correct definitely in the level 1 they will not go code and stm standard they will go definitely the written instruction so option c is the correct so question 9 you are auditing a employer written practice he has specified that the level 2 candidates shall have minimum fourth standard education so you are suppose auditing one company and you check there is some mention in the level 2 procedure the minimum fourth standard is required for the level 2 candidates so what is the option is there you will change it to minimum high school education as recommended by tc1 a you will change it to minimum high school or you will change to minimum a standard as recommended by sntc1 a or you will discuss this matter with sntc1 a government body so 
which one is correct you will change this certification and uh, in this changes things to in this procedure or you will discuss this matter or the last one you will accept the written practice definitely you have to follow always the procedure if the procedure because the procedure is accepted by your client so you will accept the written practice option d question number 10 according to asnt tc 1a who can conduct any according to asnt tc 1a any asnt level 3 the company entity level 3 employer's representative not specified by the document this matter should be addressed by the employer in his written practice or all of the above are wrong so according to snt tc 1a who can conduct training training who can conduct any snt level 3 all they will only conduct snt level 3 the company entity level 3 only can conduct training or employer representative can conduct the training or not specified by the document this matter should be addressed Definitely, this not specified by the document. You can see there is anything it's not mentioned. Who can give the training? This matter should be addressed by the employer in his written practice. So, it should be mentioned in the written practice in the written procedure. Who can give this training? Question number eleven. Who can directly qualify to level two? An engineering degree holder, an engineering diploma holder, a science graduate. Or any person who ha too has fulfilled training, experience, and education requirement of the employer written practice, no one can directly qualify to level two, level three. Level two is only qualify can directly qualify to level three, but that person should have fulfilled training, experience, education. So definitely, the question eleven, the option D is the correct answer. So question number 12, which of the following would constitute experience? This is very important question. Time spent in witnessing and duty inspection. B is time spent in practical exercise during training. C is time spent in NDT activities under the direction of qualified supervision. And D is all of the above. And E is A and C only. So, constitute experience only you can get when you time spent in NDT activities under the direction of the qualified supervision. Means, qualified supervision means those are person have experience is maybe more than 5 years, 10 years, those, and the, those are the NDT level 3. Then you can do the time spent with, in NDT activities with them. Then this will be the constitute experience. So, correct answer is option C. Question number 13. The entity level 2 shall be capable of training level 1 and 2, examining level 1 and 2, certifying level and 2, all of the above. So, entity level 2 should shall be capable. Which things are capable in entity level 2? Training, examination, examining and certifying. And C, A and B only. So, the correct answer is A and B, training level and examining. So, this is for entity level 2. Question number 14. As per this addition of ASNT TC 1A, the entity method to be considered are seriography, acoustic emission, vibration analysis testing, all of the above, and C, B, and C only. Sorry, this will be B, this will be e, e, this will be E, B and C only. So, the correct answer is acoustic emission and vibration analysis testing. This is the entity method to be considered R. So, correct answer is B and C. Hope you understand all the question. If you have still comment any of this question, please uh, uh, let me know. Then I will explain to you. Thanks a lot. See you soon in my next video. Take care.